day one of not eating out for an entire month. This in the morning has always made me like nauseous. Since I had work, I would always have to eat in the morning. Now that I don't have to go to work and can eat whenever I want, I might have like a protein shake or something like that. Just filmed a YouTube video, having a protein yogurt. Usually while I'm working from home, I don't really have that temptation unless it's like DoorDash to order fast food or anything like that. It's usually at night or when I'm out with people. Finally in the mood to eat, but not in the mood to cook. Which is exactly why I bought this microwavable Tyson chicken. Throwing it in the microwave. Cheese, lettuce, sour cream, and sriracha. My favorite crushed up protein chips. I always sprinkle chili lime on top. It's like a little fajita salad. Also, yes, I use plastic forks. Y'all are just gonna have to get used to it if you're gonna watch this series. Popcorn with hot sauce, do not judge me. It's actually really good. And then worse than a picnic. Sour cream. So this would be good with rice, but we don't have any right now. It's 9.30 and I'm already sleepy, so I'm gonna eat this and probably go to bed. Day two of not eating fast food for an entire month. I low-key want some scooters after my workout, but we're gonna stick through it. Longhorn has Parmesan crusted chicken. I tagged my friend in the post and she's like, yeah, they do it with steak too. And like, now I want a Parmesan crusted steak. Maybe I'll make steak for dinner. I have been busy all morning making videos, editing, all I've had again the freaking protein drink. I have leftover cabbage and meat from last night, so I'm gonna add it to a tortilla. Here's the wrap that I use. Making two. I love my sriracha. My red flag is I literally have to be watching Netflix while I eat. I just started Love Island. I really wanted some steak for dinner, so before my husband got off work, he got some steak. While that cooks, I'm eating some frozen cherries. Very cold. Cooking my broccoli and the steak juices. Longhorn who? So good. Day three of not eating fast food for an entire month. I ordered in some groceries. I spent around $100, but I also got some self-care things. Can we talk about how they substituted a four pack for just one single? Make it make sense. I have some people coming over, so I'm making this DIY seafood boil. Um, just trust the process. Sausage in the air fryer, purr. Okay, here is my boil. She is very much seasoned, so don't play me about that. It doesn't look that much, but it is. The corn is my favorite part. She's good. I'll probably be eating this like all day. Ended up having the same thing for dinner, another successful day, then I went to bed. Day four of not eating fast food for an entire month. The gym fit is pretty basic today. Apparently my body wants breakfast today. Don't give the body what she needs. Wanna make one of those KFC bowls. That's what we gonna make. Last time people were mad that I had chicken nuggets for breakfast. Let's piss them off even more. Filet. So hot that I had to use an oven mitt. So good. Reminds me of those TV dinners that you would have as a kid, but better. I have some popcorn, but I'm gonna put it in a bowl because eating out of the bag will just trigger a binge and we don't need that. I'm gonna do a big bowl though. Adding two turkey sticks. Feeling kind of snackish before dinner. For dinner, I was feeling lazy, which usually means ordering DoorDash, but no. This time I opted for making a barbecue ranch wrap. It's just an easy quick meal that I threw together, but it's really yummy. Day five of no fast food for an entire month. This day is gonna be kind of hard because Kevin's off with me and we always get fast food when he's off. We're about to go drop Stormy off at the vet and I'm gonna bring some granola bars just in case we get hungry. Kevin already asked to go get coffee. I told y'all the bars would come in handy. I'm not used to leaving the house, not eating fast food. Personally, I do not consider rotisserie chicken as fast food. It was on clearance. Back home, it's a rainy day, and I made me and my husband these sub sandwiches on a wheat roll. Like, who needs Subway? My vlog from yesterday is receiving a lot of hate right now just because I decided to make a KFC bowl at home, which was 10 times cheaper. Overall, a healthier alternative. Oh, how I said healthier, but not healthy. It's a little discouraging because I was really excited about this series. You're seeing this and you have something rude to say, just don't say it at all. It costs nothing to be a kind human. Closing it off with rotisserie chicken, broccoli, and Alfredo sauce for dinner. It's off with homemade soap sandwiches. Day six of no fast food for an entire month. Almost at a full week. I had a doctor's appointment this morning. Leaving my doctor's appointment, typically this is when we would go and get food, but we're going home and we're gonna go make something and then we're gonna get back out and get the prescription and all of that stuff. And I had to draw blood. Alfredo sauce. The bowl is hot, but I'm having chicken and broccoli and Alfredo sauce. It's actually one of my favorite combinations. It's like chicken Alfredo. We're shopping. 
For dinner, I had some sweet potatoes with some sour cream, some green beans, and some steak. I was just talking to Kevin how crazy it is. We literally used to spend $60 a night to order in steak, and we spent $15 for four steaks tonight. We'll literally have leftovers. Last time people were salty that I didn't cut my steak for the video. Day seven of no fast food for an entire month. I also just started my period. Going to Publix and not even allowing myself to eat at the deli. I splurged a little bit. Look, I'm saving money, so that's my excuse. I'm allowed to splurge just a little bit. I bought lamb and it was $23. My defense, I've never had lamb and I wanna try it. Also $17 salmon, squash, pineapple, having a little yogurt bowl. For all of that, I paid like $50, which is like one meal on DoorDash. I'm feeling nauseous and I think it's cause I'm on my period and I haven't eaten. So I'm gonna have some salmon in the air fryer. We have salmon, rice, green beans. This salmon was already pre-seasoned. Having the same thing for lunch with a little ranch drizzled on top. Dinner is squash, rice, and lamb. Let's try the lamb and see if it's good. I'd say if it's close to anything, it's close to steak, but it's not exactly steak. I don't know. Made it through a full week. I ate of no fast food for an entire month. I'm hungry, but I don't feel like cooking, and I remember that I had these meatballs, so I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. So I'm making this pizza, and the hack that I use for my pizzas, I put them on these little tortillas. They're whole wheat, they have a lot of fiber, all of that good stuff, low carb. I always make my pizzas on this bread. It's like a big open tortilla of pizza. Normally better in the oven, because it's like more crispy. This one's really only crispy on the bottom but it's good. For dinner is some buffalo ranch chicken tenders and some green beans. Didn't really film the rest of my day just because it hasn't been the best mental health day. Didn't really feel like getting judged for what I was eating. Honestly, I just wasn't in the mood to film it. But hopefully tomorrow is a better day. Day nine of no fast food for an entire month. Pre-workout. All black, I see you. I'm making eggs. I ate eggs for so long that I just got tired of them, but now I think I'm gonna be back into my egg kicks. Making them into a ham and cheese omelet. I topped her with some bacon bits and I'm putting some of my favorite guacamole salsa on top. Ugh. Me and Kev shared some snacky poos on the couch. Dinner is taking forever, so I'm having these mini little crystal burgers because I'm hungry. For dinner is broccoli, chicken, and rice. Oh no, I had to add ranch on top. I'm also gonna add guacamole salsa to this as well. I'm a sauce girly, I can't help it. Day 10 of no fast food for an entire month. Officially in the double digits. I have work at nine and it's 8.20, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack some lunch. I don't remember the last time that I've worked and haven't got fast food for lunch, but we're doing better. This is very weird, but I'm putting my condiments in a bag. A bowl of rice, some tuna, and a bag of condiments. Me personally, it's a little too early for breakfast, so I'm just gonna take this little protein yogurt with me to work. This is actually really good, especially with the lemon pepper seasoning. Dinner, I made some garlic and herb mashed potatoes with gravy on top, some lamb, and then okra. It's my second time cooking lamb. I really like it. Day 11 of no fast food for an entire month. Cramps are literally killing me today. About to head to work, but before I go in, I have some pre-seasoned sweet and spicy tuna, rice that I season, and then some mayonnaise, and I'm gonna mix it all together. She's not looking good, but she's gonna taste good. I didn't have a lunch at work, so I was really hungry. So I just bought this Caesar salad kit and made it at home. Then I just really wanted some junk food. So I had these hot Cheetos. And then Kevin had this frozen pizza, so I took a slice. And for dinner, I just had some chicken breast with some broccoli and Alfredo sauce. Day 12 of no fast food for an entire month. They were having a barbecue. We went grocery shopping for the stuff we were gonna grill and then we had some adult beverages. Nice. Here's how the food looks, she was good. Here's Aisha and Kevin. Then I had one of these little cheesecake crumble bowls. They were really good. Pretty much all we're gonna eat today. We're kind of just eating on the barbecue the entire time while it was like cooking. And we got finished pretty late, so. I'm proud of her so far. Day 13, wait, is it day 13? Yeah. Day 13 of no fast food for an entire month. I don't know if this is yogurt or what, but I'm having one of these little Reese's Cups twisted dessert things. It's pudding. I've been craving sweet stuff lately. I don't know if it's cause like, it's my last few days of my cycle. Eh, not a huge fan. Cooking some chicken legs. It's like 2 p.m. and we haven't eaten. So I'm having some rice, some okra, and some chicken legs that I just cooked up. This is blessing. For some reason, I was really craving a bowl of salad that had chopped sandwich meat and cheese and ranch. So that's what I made for dinner. Let's see if it's up to expectation. Also, the fro is back. We mix it up. The thing this is missing is a boiled egg and some bacon bits. 
That's what I was wanting. So simple, but so good. Y'all better come up here and get one of these. Day 14 of no fast food for an entire month. Lettuce, cheese, ranch, the superior salad dressing. A little bit of pink salt. Oh, sh also, do you like my hair? I just do. I think it's super cute. I'm gonna order in some cucumbers and tomatoes so I can have this again later, but with all the proper ingredients. I'm a person who repeats my meals a lot. Superior. Dinner, I made this little taco soup. Meat beans, so I replaced the beans with vegetables. That is good. Day 14 complete. Day 15 of no fast food for an entire month. We are halfway there. Pre workout. I ordered in some groceries. I'm hungry and this bowl is really hot, but I had leftover taco soup from yesterday and it's cold outside, so it's perfect. So many of you were saying you don't like squash. Like squash is the most elite vegetable. Best believe I watched Love Island while eating because I am an iPad kid at heart. Since we're halfway through, here's some things that I learned so far. People get very triggered when you eat salad with a spoon. No matter how many times you tell people that it makes you uncomfortable, they're still gonna comment on your body. There are people in the world that don't like ranch dressing. And if you're fat, no matter what you eat, if you eat a broccoli, people are still gonna call it unhealthy. I'm once again having the exact same thing for dinner. I'm a meal repeater and I'm not mad about it. He had a lot of leftovers. Someone in my comments said that this isn't a soup, that it's a dip. Whatever you want to call it, it's good. Day 16 of no fast food for an entire month. Tell me why I just got an email from DoorDash. Like, baby, I do not want to talk to you. Like, maybe next month. I'm just kidding. So it's 1.30. I was working so hard on my YouTube video that goes up tonight that I completely forgot to eat. Yet another salad, but this time we're fancy. We got tomatoes, we got bacon bits. Yummy. My mom brought us pancets. And egg rolls. It's a Filipino meal. Then I finished off the day with a bowl of leftover taco soup because we had a lot of it. Howdy, it's me from the future and I forgot to film the intro to this, but day 17 of no fast food for an entire month. I'm having two chicken legs, a piece of corn, and a side salad. I'm having some canned pineapple. I'm just kidding, no funny business. I just want to eat canned pineapple. Why can people not have canned pineapple these days without making the joke? Do you know what joke I'm talking about? When Miley said, drinking out the bottle, I got no respect. I felt that. Mm. I just made this pork tenderloin and dry wear. Always dry it out, but it's giving juicy. So good. And I just attempted to make yams, but I didn't have any brown sugar. So I just used honey and cinnamon. But honestly, she's pretty good. This is dinner. It looks so yum. One of the best dinners that I've made in a minute. I can't believe it, but we are on day 18 of no fast food for an entire month. It's been a minute since I had eggs, so I'm thinking about making like a breakfast scramble with these roasted vegetables in it. It has Brussels sprouts, squash, and onion. This actually looks so good. Add a way to sneak in some spice. Looks so good. I'm topping her off with some guacamole salsa. She's so cute and colorful. Let's break her open and see if the yolk is good. I forgot to take out meat for dinner. But tonight is gonna be a quick, easy meal. Frozen grilled chicken, canned potatoes, and canned green beans. But trust me, I'm gonna make a masterpiece out of this. I promise these loaded potatoes looked way better before I added the ranch, but y'all know I'm a ranch girl. You can hardly tell that everything is from a can or the freezer. Yum. Day 19 of no fast food for an entire month. I am coming at you from the future and just know that today is very much not healthy, but I very much do not care and I still didn't eat out, so that's all that matters. We really at McDonald's because Kevin wanted some coffee so bad, but I'm not even allowing myself to have coffee. Comment down below the coffee y'all drink. I'm curious. Be good, Kevin? It's like a cream, baby. Ooh! I got some cream cheese buffalo dip from Aldi's and I'm dipping my sun chips in it. Ooh. Aisha bought all of these macaroons and she's rating them on her TikTok, so go watch her TikTok. We went shopping at Publix and Sam's Club and of course we had to have some of the samples. And they had pizza at the cafe, which I consider fast food. And I had rotisserie chicken, which I already said doesn't count. I am trying a stuffed clam that I got from Sam's Club and I just baked it in the oven. It's actually quite good. I finished off my day with shrimp and pasta salad, which I actually didn't like, so I did not finish this. Day 20 of no fast food for an entire month. Can't believe we even made it to the tubes. Me and Kevin are playing the game, but I have a bacon cheddar salmon patty and I'm gonna try it with rice and I have mayo on top. 
Yeah, I did not finish that. Have you ever eaten something and just the thought of it makes you sick? Well, that's what this did to me and I was sick for the rest of the day. Zero out of 10, definitely do not recommend. I'm sorry I have not been filming today, but that salmon patty earlier was just disgusting. Now I'm just trying to make, I think some chicken nachos, but I'm gonna use these Quest protein chips for more protein. So earlier I had some of this crab dip that I forgot to show. I'm having some pineapple. Adding some sun chips with the protein chips because I like sun chips. Barbecue ranch protein nachos. Bussin. Day 21 of no fast food for an entire month. At this point, Tyson should just work with me. I mean, they've been in almost every video I make. Chicken wings look so good. I got them from Sam's Club. I know a lot of you don't like squash. That's weird. I love squash. I cook them in the air fryer and they're so good, so crispy. I can never find a good brand of wings that I actually like to eat from home, but this is good. Dinner is a barbecue chicken baked potato and canned green beans. So good. Day 22 of no fast food for a full month. No fast food for an entire month. I had work and I wasn't able to eat breakfast, so I just had some jerky and almonds. Oh, when I tell you I literally packed my lunch this morning and left it on the counter. So I bought a sandwich at the deli. I work at Walmart and I'm at work today. Then some Doritos. Is it the healthiest option? No. But do I consider it fast food? No. In my opinion, I think fast food is either at a restaurant or in a drive-thru. I'm gonna enjoy my last minute sandwich. Thank you. Me and Kevin shared some jerky on the couch before dinner and we had pot roast, rice, and mushrooms for dinner. Day 26 of no fast food for an entire month. Took a little break for the holidays. Had some yummy food, but I did stay on track and it wasn't fast food. I was honestly just burnt out from filming and didn't feel like filming, but we're back on track today. New hairstyle, I think she's cute. <laughs> Guys, so today is my last day of work. So I'm having a late breakfast, early lunch. I have like a six hour shift with no lunch. So I have two leftover chicken thighs from last night and a big salad. It was supposed to be a side salad, but I like salads. Also, for y'all commenting, telling me to use different salad dressing. No, I like ranch. Two pieces of jerky at work because I need extra protein. Like 9 p.m., but I got off work at 8 and then I had to shop. But it was my last day. I made steak, a vegetable stir fry, and some rice. Day 27 of no fast food for an entire month. I am back from the gym and now I'm kind of hungry. Yesterday, I bought this pesto butter salmon. <laughs> Salmon bowl looks so good. I always like to add carrots with like a little bit of a crunch. A little bit of everything. Can you guys believe I've never had pesto ever? So good. I have really been craving Taco Bell. So we're gonna make Taco Bell at home. These taco shells that are like nacho cheese, like the Doritos Locos taco. Brown turkey. Into the oven they go. Taco seasoning, some of this delicious salsa. Y'all know I have to add the guacamole salsa too. Anyone else just cut their green onions with kitchen scissors? Kind of sad because I forgot to get lettuce. Don't judge the little string of sour cream. I originally planned to make a side salad, but since I'm out of lettuce, I just put leftover vegetables from earlier. Day 28 of no fast food for an entire month. <laughs> Day 29 of no fast food for an entire month. Yesterday was so crazy. I barely had time to film. So I threw these potatoes, okra, and chicken patty in the air fryer. And then I put some ranch and buffalo sauce. It was really good. Then I got really hungry and we had company over. So I just had a slice of Kevin's frozen pizza. Then I closed out the night with another chicken patty and some asparagus with some ranch and buffalo sauce drizzled on top. I really appreciate these quick, easy meals like this for when I really don't have the time to cook. And I'm cutting out takeout, not frozen food. So if you don't like frozen food, don't eat it, but leave me out of it. Day 30 of no fast food for an entire month.
big old bowl of pasta, vegetable, topped her with some sour cream and some green onions. This looks so good. This is also protein pasta, so I'm getting in my protein. This little chocolate is a must because I'm on my period and I just, I need chocolate. Like I mentioned, I'm on my cycle and I do not feel like cooking. So I threw these wings in the air fryer with some asparagus and it was the perfect dinner. And I was feeling a little snackish, so I had some of my favorite jerky.